you beautiful people. Here we are again. I'm all set. So we've started this new year of 2020. Just get myself all comfortable. Got my little teddy. <laughs> Got my little teddy bear. So, uh, welcome to our first Sunday Shining of the year. Uh, that's what it wants to be, the first Sunday Shining of the year. And we'll just see how we go, what the, the Lord wants. So, I just want to send you all my love and thank you all for all the love that you share in these comments and you who don't comment just all the beautiful energy that you're sending that you're sharing on this channel and how special it is for me and well every time I somebody tells me that they are benefiting from this channel it just is so I get touched to tears often because it's just such a gift for me uh, and also, I've, yeah, I just feel so grateful. Uh, and what I feel the Lord is telling us, our Creator is telling us, that just keep it simple. Keep life simple. And, and keep things authentic. Just be yourself. And that is the most powerful thing on this planet. Be you. Um, and that's what I feel very much is what I'm sharing with these videos. Uh, that I'm, I'm being guided and I feel deep in my heart I wish to just be me. Although I'm very, uh, very aware that many people think it's not real great. <laughs> but to just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. And it is in this very, very, um, you can call it pure way of being. You can also call it just an honest way of being. Just where you feel, really feel that you're sinking into your own skin. Just, just allowing yourself to be you. That's where, that's where we, we, uh, we will be given the most power. God gives us uh, the power uh, we need. But we need to let go, and that's the real, the, I mean, I'm just sharing what I feel I'm learning. The crucifixion of, of Christ, it was, the, it was the, the, the dying of all the, uh, the non-spiritual. The dying of the ego. And, and he surrendered to the will of God, the, the will... Uh, he, it's, a, it's a complete surrender to let that die and he was he was born anew he, he came back just in spirit form and the story is uh, we know the story and I just think it's uh, it's really what we're going through now just on a physical level we, we, we're experiencing this crucifixion <coughs> uh, in our life and we are being resurrected. Our spirit comes alive when we let go of everything that is not spiritual. And our body is spiritual also. It is a spiritual being. We just haven't allowed it to be that. It was really a pure physical being. There was very little spirit in us as it used to be. And the age that we have come into now, which I feel, is the age of spirit and uh, and spirit and physical matter being one, and I just love how you feel, you can just feel it in your life every time you make a step towards more authenticity, more peace, and that's really what it is. When you become more authentic, you allow yourself to be you. You feel more peaceful. It's so beautiful. <coughs> and really you can say that uh, 
the reason why we didn't allow ourselves to be authentic uh, was because we were actually more afraid of ourselves. Uh, oh, wait a sec. It's the fear of others not liking us. So, so we would rather suppress our own being to make the others satisfied and, and that is really the way that human being we have lived on we have been living on earth because if we did not uh, succumb to the rules if we did not fit in we would be killed or they would just push us push us out of the village and some tiger would come and eat us <laughs> we would just be uh, we we couldn't live here on earth if we didn't uh, abide to the rules. Uh, and, and and be as they wanted us to be, wear the clothes and do the, all the traditions of that culture that we were living in, we had to do that. Otherwise we, we, weren't allowed, we couldn't be here. And that was really natural, but now everything has changed. And <clears throat> it is really because of, of uh, the material uh, abundance, I think, on earth, that we have been freed to stand uh, on our own and leave our family and traditions and say, this is the way I want to live. I'll get myself a job and I'll start a new life. Because uh, the, the way you're living is not true for me. And so we could, we could uh, uh, detach ourselves from all this old tradition and free ourselves to be because we knew that we could feel that God within us was guiding us away from the culture, away from the old rules. And so slowly we got to see that uh, we would rather have the whole village hate us and feel peace within and feel good within because we were, we were, we were uniting with our own spirit. That was much bigger that has become much more important for us that we come at home within us than being at home in the village and it's so beautiful let's have some tea and I, I, I felt this many years ago because I like probably all of you <coughs> ask so many questions through life what is this? <laughs> what is this really all about? What is happening? And and why are we destroying the earth? Why are we? Why are we really? Uh, we humans are really acting insane. What's what is this? Is this just one big uh, cha chaotic insanity? And we're just supposed to all uh, kill ourselves with poison, <laughs> just destroy ourselves to death. <clears throat> and then I could see it that, that uh, all this chaos was because everything that we knew was dying, it was, it was dissolving. And, and people were leaving the old structures. And of course when you do that, everything gets messy, really, really messy. And all these very, very horrendous problems have appeared. And um, so, 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 so uh, yeah, so it looked really, really terrible. And it still does, if you keep looking at it, it still looks really terrible on earth. But if you listen to, to God within, you listen to your soul, your soul will tell you that all is well. And all you need to do, and, and also the, the, the really big thing was that God was calling us. God was calling us into, into, into unity with him or her within us. God is not a he or a her. God is the one, the one light. And for us to come, in, um, come into unity with him, we had to stop clinging to all the safety he wanted us to become warriors. Uh, we had to uh, to dare, to dare to let go. And and he would so he he's been calling us into uh, 
uh, into unity with him so that we could live in complete uh, it, our, our village that the the culture we used to have uh, has is in us so we had to fight figure out that there was actually a whole village within us that's our true home it is the spirit within that's our true home and to get to feel good in here so we might <clears throat> be in a situation we know no one and nobody likes us we're all we feel all alone but on the inside we know we're completely safe and the only reason why or, or we we're here because uh, we're not meant to have all those contacts with humans we're meant to just be in this new state of being as a human so if your life is like that you don't know anyone nobody likes you you're all alone just 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 tune into within more and you will sense how God is saying I love you and you're you're my warrior you have allowed yourself to detach yourself from everything that was not true and you are here with me now you've come home you finally come home and and if you're if you're meant to live on the earth for a long time you will start creating after a while because the, these are the new villages and the new cities of the earth they're all in here eight billion or how many how many there are on the earth now the new age is is being built is being created from within each and every heart so it sounds uh, strange how can there be eight billion uh, villages but it's, it's a completely different way of being where we everything we do and say and think and every breath we take every step we take in life will be deeply authentic to us and that's the only way God can create through us when we're completely in alignment with him and you might be a mechanic you might be working as a mechanic the rest of your life you might be a king you might be a cleaner you might be a farmer you might uh, you, can, you can be doing anything that's not really what this is about it's you will feel as you're repairing the cars you will feel that you're in the only thing that really matters is that you're you're completely united with God within that's all that matters and he God within will guide you every every single step and whatever you do you will love to do there will not be jobs on the earth we don't like it won't exist anymore because it's 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 untrue for us to be doing things that we don't like so it's so beautiful it's so wonderful so uh, this is really coming true now so uh, if you're not already sensing it in your life that every time you take a step to be more authentic you feel better if you start doing it you, you'll feel it how God says every time you you come into greater unity with, with God within and you do things that are true for you you feel better it's so simple you feel better you're healthier you're stronger uh, and and then we come to the whole thing of, of uh, uh, creating from this space and we're so used to being very productive as humans but uh, as I see it this, this year uh, and may, maybe for a while we'll be doing very little because we're simply, we're simply uh, uh, grounding this new energy so I spend a lot of my time just lying in my in my couch, <laughs> doing nothing, and sleeping and resting. And the old mind can say, "Oh, that's not much. <laughs> You're not doing much." Well, no, I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to be doing much because I'm anchoring. We are anchoring in this new way of being human, and it's very, very, very uh, taxing on the hu on the human form. Because every single cell of your body is completely morphing, it's changing. You are, you are, you have been born to be the new you, or you are in the birthing process of becoming the new you, right down to every atom in your body. 
and of course that is very uh, it takes a lot of energy for the body and also the world doesn't need a lot of pr producing just see just go to the shops I mean <laughs> you, you can't believe it how I, I just can't believe it when I go to the shops how can all this stuff be produced in so enormous quantities every single day and they're carting it around and you see all this absolutely wonderful organic we have a lot of organic food here in Denmark bags and boxes and bottles of all this stuff from all over the world in these and they're, they're throwing it all most of it I think a lot of it is being thrown out because it, it, it gets too old because people aren't buying all of it because they can't stuff <laughs> they can't stuff in any more stuff they're stuffed we're stuffed and you can't believe how the earth can keep giving us all this material good I mean that's the country I live in and uh, I was there yesterday and I was going to buy all this stuff because I thought this is so this is so cheap and it's so wonderful and I thought to myself but I don't need it I've got my milk <laughs> and it's not it doesn't go into a plastic bag it doesn't go into a box it just goes straight from a cow and into me more into a glass container and I have it and um, it's got all the nutrients I need really so uh, uh, all this stuff just, uh, and as Jesus said uh, it's very hard for the rich to, to find the find the kingdom of God and to enter I mean to find it and to enter into it why is it so difficult because we're so stuffed we're so stuffed with stuff that we we get numbed and we know that when we we eat and drink a lot we get sort of <laughs> we can't really think clear and uh, it's not that we shouldn't enjoy food and drink and party and all this in in the modern in the uh, in our rich countries, we are so used to the state of being stuffed that we're used to it being quite numb. So, uh, mm, uh, yeah, and for the ones who really have gone deeply into the darkness, they need to have stimulants because because we get so far away from ourselves you need a stimulant to, to cope because it's <laughs> it's so you feel so lost so but all this is going because uh, we don't want to stuff ourselves anymore we want to feel this beautiful beautiful being who is us the Lord within God is living in us and we have known this all along and as we grow we will and surrender we will allow him to embody us more and more and he will guide us to live the most amazing life where you don't have to go to the shops and stuff all this your cars stuff it full of all this stuff because you'll feel so rich you'll feel so rich and just by going out and looking at just seeing a little bird uh, singing its song you just feel so touched and so rich and you can be touched to tears because and we will sense how it's singing for you it was singing for you and I, it's so beautiful because I've been feeling that um, after this very powerful time and, and this very big change that's happened in my life where I've become so much more authentic uh, living so much more from my truth although people around me don't like it some don't like it some some love me still um, that the animals they, they really start talking to you can actually the animals have been talking to us all along we just couldn't listen and we couldn't we weren't tuned into it but the more authentic you become the more you will sense that everything around you is actually telling you they love you because it's all love there's one big uh, love making it's one big love making we are a part of love is just flowing through everything and everyone and I had this um, I had this yeah new little rhythm so one of you asked do I have my animals on the meadow and I can 
uh, I can just short, shortly tell you about the animals. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video about the cows because I don't have so many cows anymore. Uh, but I've taken them home from the meadow because it was too much work for me because I want to focus on other things. So I've, I've keep them close to me now. So, so therefore I don't have to go to the meadow very often. And this time of year it's also very wet and very wet. It's very, it's really f quite flooded here now. So anyway, I do this walk where I just walk briskly every morning. I've done the milking. I go for my walk. And I walk down to the meadow I've shown you many times on my videos. And then instead of going down to the meadow, I go up to a road we have higher up. So it's really where I've shown you on the videos. So I just do this square and I come back here. And the other morning, uh, I just feel so blessed. I, I do this walk. I just feel so, I feel so much God's presence and I just feel so loved. And I was walking down that trip, I've sh shown you many times. And as I got to the, I was getting close to the, the, the meadow, <coughs> this scent, I could not believe it, the scent of the lily of the valley, very, very, very strong flower, floral scent, met me. And I thought, this is just incredible. And I kept walking and I kept, I kept um, sniffing, kept, kept smelling. The lily. I thought, what is that flower? What is, what is this scent? It was so strong, and it was the lily of the valley. And I thought to myself, well, now I'm. <laughs> they say that when angels, well, angels are always around us. We never ever are without angels. They're always around us. And if you ask for more, there, there will be many more. And there's many more beings around us. We just have not learned to see them. Just a sec. <coughs> <clears throat> so the angels are always there, but I've heard people say that when the angels are near, you will, you can, that's that's a sign they will give you that they're this very sweet scent, very 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 beautiful scent. I've never experienced this in my life. So beautiful. And here comes the funny part. So uh, I kept walking. And I got closer to a pig farm, which uh, is up there, up, up on, uh, I get close to a pig farm. And usually when you drive past in your car, it smells so bad. It smells so bad because all these pigs, they're never out in nature. They spend their whole life in a building. And the, 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 the smell <laughs> uh, in there is, is very, very strong. So... Um, so up there, it did not smell very nice. And suddenly, it, I realized that, that that scent I was smelling came from that poo. I'd say, well, shit. I mean, it's poo and we, in a very, very, very concentrated form, where these pigs are. <coughs> so I thought to myself, that's strange. So it can't be an angel spreading that scent. It actually came from this very disgusting, really quite disgusting place where they're not treating animals well. And then I, I felt with myself, this is really, this is really new age. The, this is our new world, that everything bad is turning into beauty. That out, and, the, and that's what I've shared with you before, and what it says in the Bible, that out of all this really, really bad stuff, the Lord the Lord is, and the Lord comes forth. Emily's calling. <laughs> She's saying, I want to see my little calf, so come and milk me. Come and... I'm going to go milk now. So, uh, it, it's so, it's so wonderful how when we let go and we become united with God within, everything falls into place and our life becomes magic, becomes magical. We get to experience things we've never experienced before. <clears throat> and it's really not new. We've just, as I've said before, we've been li living in a very limited state uh, where uh, we thought we were these very, very limited beings. And we have really, I can say really generally, we have really not been loving towards ourselves. We've, been, we've restricted ourselves with in many, many different ways. So we've... 
we've lived, lived a very limited and restricted life and we did not realize a potential for anything great really but as we that's the strange thing that we've learned that if you if you really really pull yourself together and as one of those great youtubers who I mean sometimes you just see that they they're on a wrong track she said the other day if you just push yourself you can do this and this and this and you can see she's becoming more and more skinny and more and more unhealthy looking and that's I just feel God within telling me you don't, don't push yourself once don't push yourself at all because that's what that's of the old world so we have learned that in the old world when you push yourself you'll you'll reach your goal it's a lie it's not true Everything that you wish to achieve is within you and you have to surrender. You have to, you have to let yourself be crucified. Let it go. Let go of all the pushing and the pulling and the striving and, and just be yourself. And when you do that, uh, you, your true being, which has the potential to create anything and everything, see every being, <clears throat> that's around you, every angel, every every being that's around you, you'll be able to see them and you'll be able to create anything you like. Anything. That potential is already in you. And so that experience I had with the, with the, the, the scent is really a, an ability I have to sense much, much, much more than I have, than I have uh, realized in my old life. So this was just a tiny, tiny, the tiny tip of the iceberg of what is to come. Because we, we're going to be living uh, that way, in the scent of the lily of the valley. We're going to, uh, my, our life is just going to be magic. So it's so wonderful. So I'm going to go milk my cow. And uh, it's, it's completely dark outside. So we're going to do a Gabriel message when I come back from the milking. A bit later, I'll do it. So uh, this is lovely to share. It's, uh, yeah. We're going to talk a bit more about peace, I think. Peace. So I'll see you soon. again. It's really uh, still dark. A real grey day today. So what I wanted to share uh, before, or maybe you, <laughs> maybe you're thinking that story about the uh, the poo and the wee turning into the flower scent, um, you can ask, how can that happen? Well, it, it's some chemical thing, I think, uh, on the physical level. Uh, when that, that smell came from up there, and it came maybe half a kilometre with the wind over the field, maybe it was the, the bacteria from the field changing it, I don't know, but it, it happened. So uh, on a physical level, uh, everything can happen and I think uh, all we need to do is not try to understand how things happen, but just say, this is what I experienced and what is God trying to tell me? What is the universe trying to tell me? Because there's messages for us all the time. And they're all about love and well-being. Uh, your deepest wish, your, your deep, deep desire is to be very well and happy and love your life. And it's the will of God, of course. So, uh, so I just wanted to, to talk about peace. And another thing just that has come to my mind a few times, to be strange. Be strange for change. If, if you feel, and that's often what happens, the reason why we don't... The re sorry. It's <coughs> my fire. The reason why we don't follow our hearts completely is because we feel we're strange. 
and we, we, we don't like being strange. But I just want to encourage you, as I have many times, I just thought it was a funny little, little saying, be strange for change. The way we're going to change this world is by not being as we used to, of course. So it's by, sometimes you feel, this is strange, why do I have this feeling? Why do I feel like doing this? Well, I just want to say to you, do it. <laughs> do it. And it might be the weirdest thing you feel like. Just do it. And uh, it's, it's just so wonderful because we, will, we are changing the world. And, and really, um, a, as I've said so many times before, it's not so much what you do, it's how you feel. So being strange for change can really be allowing yourself to feel as you feel. I suddenly don't like this person. Well, there's definitely a reason within you that you're, you, you're moving away from a person because you, deep in your heart you, you know it's, it's not right for you to be near that person. And uh, so just trusting, trusting that you're as long as you stay connected to your heart and you dare, you, you allow yourself to do what is true for you within, uh, your life will change for the better and you will be, you'll be bringing this change, you'll be helping others. We'll all be helpers. As uh, Dr. Bradley Nilsson says, who created the emotion code and the body code, <coughs> uh, he's, he's just a really, really has a beautiful message for us and he says everyone is a healer. Everyone can be a healer for someone else. We, we, it's just a matter of saying, well, of course I can help someone heal. We, we can do anything really that we want and we're all here to help. And who we need to help first is ourselves so that we come into harmony and then we will start helping others. So, it's, so that's what I love about this. We're all... We've all got the capacity to do the most amazing things. So nobody, there's no hierarchy. Nobody is will ever be better than you, or worse than you. It doesn't exist. We're all beings of the light. So the other thing before we read is is to talk about peace because uh, I think it's really important. Um, Uh, because because we have been very unpeaceful for very long. Uh, to 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 uh, to also <coughs> to surrender to peace. To allow yourself to be peace, feel the peace. And many of us have been too busy, as I was mentioning before, all the production, all that stuff. We don't need it. It's not making us help. It's not making us happy. Uh, uh, all that stuff, all those buildings and cars and production, we don't need it. What do we need? We need to feel good. Does that? Does that need? Do we need something? It's good to have some things to feel good, but really, feeling good is really a state of being that you allow yourself to be in. So. Uh, allow yourself to feel the peace and if you feel there's too many things you, you've got you're too busy let it go I, I promise you that you're not meant to be doing too much because it, it brings us out of balance so uh, and and uh, talking about peace um, what makes me feel peaceful, you ask yourself, and the whole thing of being strange for change and peace, it's, it sort of comes together because <clears throat> because we're going through this enormous shift, uh, I'm encouraging you to allow yourself to change and you can use peace as a wonderful, wonderful measurer or what do you call it, test, <laughs> uh, testing uh, rod to see if so you should do something and I would say anything that does not fill you with deep peace, move away from it. And you don't have to, it can be a person, it can be a place, it can be a job, it can be anything. Uh, allow yourself to move away from it. 
because because we deserve well-being and we um, we really really being asked uh, by the Lord and all the beings that are helping us to 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 find to to uh, uh, to step away from anything that's not peaceful for you that does not generate peace within you because you are a peacemaker you came to bring the light and the peace and if you if you keep going doing things that make you feel unpeaceful uh, or is it called unpeaceful <laughs> peaceless if you keep doing that you cannot generate more peace so you're really here as a little factory of peace you're here to produce more peace because we've entered into the age of peace this is the age of peace and for peace to manifest on earth each person has to choose peace so your life might become very strange in, 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 in the, with the eyes of the mind because you start doing, you, you move away from things and people uh, that do not generate peace in you. And I promise you, you will be guided. So choose peace, choose peace. And it could be, I mean, I could, you, I've shared so much with you <laughs> about my life, how strange that is. And I just keep, it became, keeps becoming, in a way, more strange. But the more I allow it to be strange, the more I feel people around me are loving me. Maybe new people, different people, they're encouraging me. Uh, so it's so wonderful. So, um, yeah. I also want to talk about my little website, but I might do that. Uh, I'll, I'll do that in another film because I do these private sessions. I've been doing these uh, free sessions for you I've been offering and it's been really really wonderful and special to meet some of you in this way and uh, so I offer I'm only offering one for for each person one free session and uh, if you wish to have a session again you can go to my website and it's it's when you look at the channel here it's up in the in top right corner it's it's called Katrina's little place and all you do is just click on it and you'll come to the, the place where you can book a session. So, and with these things I work with, the emotion code and other things, it's actually very quick. So half an hour is often enough to do a lot. And it's really helping you with all the things I'm talking about. To just come into this beautiful, beautiful, uh, your own beautiful self. And everything will fall into place. So we're going to do a Gabriel message. And the one I got straight away was 12. So let's see. No, that's very cute. Let's do it. Let's have a little candle here. The Gabriel message number 12. There is never a time when you are not wrapped in the wings of pure love. Dear one, this is a time when the forces of light and love are very close to your daily consciousness and you are blessed in a way you have never before known. You have only to turn your attention away from what does not work in your life and turn towards that which is positive and worthwhile. This may sound simplistic and too good to be true, especially when you have such overwhelming problems in your world today. However, you are not alone. In fact, there is never a time when you are not wrapped in the wings of pure love. Turn your attention to the feeling of love that is hovering around you. With a little imagination, you can even feel the presence of the angelic beings who are working closely with your earth at this time. The angels carry a vibration very different from your normal world. It is a powerful force of love and light. Imagine being enfolded in this light with an incredible sense of divine love flowing into your heart. 
let this love spread throughout your entire body. As this love fills you and surrounds you, your fears begin to drop away and beauty becomes a greater part of your life. And here's a little practice. Imagine that it, what it would be like to be filled with so much beauty and love that, would, that it would not matter where you were or what your physical eyes could see at any moment. You would be basking in the warmth and goodness of the loving presence of the angels and this would transform your per perception of reality. When you can continue to remember that you are wrapped in wings of pure love and that you are filled with loving light, you will begin to vibrate at a higher level of consciousness and this in turn will create change in your immediate world on a physical level. Just this small shift in your awareness can create miracles. To have a miracle consciousness is to have the awareness that this is your true state of being. To be in that miraculous glow of love, to trust in the universal flow of your life and to receive a new level of goodness, this is the way you are meant to live. In order to actually live this way, however, you must turn the focus of your attention away from the problems and troubles toward the essence of spirit within all things. Sometimes this means that you must close your physical eyes and really feel the wings of pure love surrounding you. So take time every day to turn within yourself to the presence of God and the angels. Where your attention goes, energy flows. Ask yourself if you are giving more attention to the challenges of your world or to your miraculous link with the universal power of good that exists in all things. You are not alone. You have powerful forces available to you in order to begin this transformational work in your life. You have a guardian angel whose job is to assist you and you have the benevolent spirit that is the energy within all things. These gifts exist within you and within all situations occurring in your life. At times it might, may feel difficult to see the gift in your present situation, but there is a gift and asking to see it will help to bring this awareness to your consciousness. So as you go through your day, keep remembering that you are incredibly loved. Not only by the divine presence within all things, but the angels are with you, blessing you in every moment. Remember also, there is never a time when you are not wrapped in wings of pure love. That was really, really wonderful, wasn't it? And apparently, if you want to believe it, I, I, I've read, heard that the Gabriel, the Archangel Gabriel, <coughs> was the one who channel, channeled uh, the Quran. It's, it's all holy. It's a holy book that uh, has all the essence of God within it, and it's all about love, really, in the deepest. Uh, core of it. It's about love and respect. Be good to your fellow being. And uh, I love these messages. They're just so powerful. So let's do the card. And the whole thing of, of uh, the fact that God, God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. There is nowhere God is not. And God is watching you and looking at you and loves you. And he never stops. He, she never stops. God's love is always uh, flowing to us. 
And God loves us so much that he, he wants to use us. He wants that he lives, he's living through us. We just have to allow him to be there. And that's where the peace comes in. He can only work out of peace because all good comes from peace. You can't create anything good out of non-peace. You can't. So I'm reminding myself with this new year to come or that, that we have stepped into that whatever I wish to create, because I feel so much creativity going through me and uh, I'm just being told again and again it's only out of peace that you're going to create something good. Only. So just keep focusing on feeling the peace. Okay. Woo! I think this, I think I saw it. Adventure. Isn't it amazing? We're, we're on this adventure. It is so exciting. What's going to happen is so exciting. <laughs> so, okay, so bless you all, and I love you all, and uh, take care, and uh, yeah, thank you for being there. Thank you for being my brothers and sisters. So, uh, yeah, feel the peace. Feel the peace. Allow yourself to be the peace. Just for your, your own joy. As the first thing, allow yourself to feel how good peace feels. See you soon!